60 years, 60 years, just thinking about this and here it is. It only took six decades, but Gwen Goldman's wish to be a Batgirl for the New York Yankees has finally happened. In 1961, Major League Baseball was obsessed with breaking Babe Ruth's single-season home run record. The Yankees were in the World Series again in 1961 against the Cincinnati Reds. Gwynn was 10 years old in 1961, and she wanted to be a part of baseball history. She wrote a letter asking to be a Yankees bat girl. The response she got would make modern girls bristle. Then team manager Ron Hamey wrote back, while we agree with you that girls are certainly as capable as boys, and no doubt would be an attractive addition on the playing field, I am sure you can understand that in a game dominated by men, a young lady such as yourself would feel out of place in a dugout. After all these years, Gwen held on to that rejection letter. She married, had children, and beat cancer. And when her daughter sent that letter to current Yankees GM Brian Cashman, Gwen's inner 10-year-old was vindicated. On behalf of the entire organization, it would be my great honor for you to join us for our game on Monday, June 28th versus the oh Los Angeles God. Angels to serve as our honorary bat girl for the day. 60 years later, Gwen looks right at home in the Yankees dugout. You see, it was worth writing that letter. It was worth having that hope. It was worth pursuing it and trying it. And even if you didn't get it at first, you know the old saying, you just keep on going. She threw the ceremonial first pitch and stood side by side with her favorite players wearing the legendary Yankee pinstripes. Walking in the front door of the stadium at gate two to coming up to a locker with my name on it that said Gwen Goldman and suiting up and then walking out onto the field. It, it took my breath away. It's obviously taking my uh, words away also. It was a thrill of a lifetime. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.